All right, today we're gonna work with a really big snake, and if you think the snake around my neck is big, <laughs> this snake that's choking me out, you should see Lucy, my reticulated python. Let me tell you, I won't put that snake around my neck because she'll make me pass out. She's a really big snake. She's about 14 feet long, and she the last time I weighed her, she was about 70 pounds. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna clean her enclosure, I'm gonna bring her in here, and we'll get a weight on her, see how much she weighs. I'm thinking she's probably between 75 and 80 pounds because she's eaten quite a few rats. I actually paired her up this year and it doesn't really look like she's gonna lay some eggs. I'm kind of on the fence. I'm not sure 100%. She's got a little bit of weight to her but it doesn't look like she's really really fat like she's full of eggs. So let's go check out Lucy. All right, so here is Lucy, my reticulated python. She lives in this big six-foot enclosure on my pool table, believe it or not, and she is under lock and key. And the interesting thing is she's pretty much been on a really wild and crazy feeding binge going, you know, kind of crazy for the rats. As a matter of fact, she went to the bathroom the other day and I opened this up and I tried to clean, to kind of spot clean the other day and it was all I could do to keep her from biting me because she was in this wild and crazy feeding mode. So today it might be a little bit tricky. She doesn't really look like she's in, in as, as much of an aggressive feeding mode as she was before. So it shouldn't be too bad. Usually I go in with a snake hook and kind of give her a few little love taps and kind of snap her out of the, the feeding mode before I go in and pick her up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this camera up on a tripod and let's move Lucy. All right, so here goes nothing. I have my back brace on and I have my big snake hook here. And let's see if we can get her out. <laughs> She's kind of a little bit in kind of a feeding mode here all right I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for it <laughs> all right buddy there you go Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, there we go, buddy. All right. I got you now. <laughs> She's kind of twisted up here. Wow. She's a big girl. Here she is, take a look at this beast. Oh. All right, buddy. Oh. <laughs> Holy cow. Wow. This is not good. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Let's try this again. All right, girl, and the bucket. There you go. Uh, <laughs> this is not working very good. Uh, uh, I think she's too big for me. <laughs> she's too big for me. I can't get her off my foot. Whew. Wow. All right. Oh. All right. I still want to try to 
Try to get a weight. <laughs> wow. She is a monster. <sighs> Woo. All right. See where you at, buddy. to this she is still at 72.4 pounds 72.4 all right there you go buddy Woo. wow <laughs> incredible all right so today I realized that that snake is too big for me to handle by myself <laughs> it is incredible Whew, I have to catch my breath after that one so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all this coconut husk substrate out of here and put in some new coconut husk all right so I use this little scooper this works really well to kind of scoop up the big stuff and what I do is kind of scoop it like that and then I use my hand to kind of push everything in there and then after that I go through with the vacuum and vacuum up the little stuff so this is kind of neat here this glass actually pops out and comes right out this is really handy I tell you, if these didn't come out <laughs> it'd be a lot more difficult to try to clean this thing Super handy. All right, so from here, I use a dilute F10 solution and pretty much just spray down the entire enclosure, including the sides and the top all the way around. All right, from here, I also don't want to forget to clean both sides of the front glass. All right, so I put the doors back on and I have some coconut husk bedding here. That's actually, I, I mixed it up a little while ago and it kind of dried out, so I added a little bit more water to it. But it should be plenty in here. All right, so here's the final setup. There's not a whole bunch of coconut husk in here. It's not very deep at all. I'd say only maybe a couple inches, but it's plenty for that snake. All right, so the tricky part is getting that snake back in the enclosure. So let's take a look at the snake in this tub here. We'll get her out and move her over. Wow, she is a big girl. Wow. All right, baby. Here we go, here we go. All right. Let's see. Wow. <laughs> Woo. Look at that beast of a snake. Take a look at the snake. Wow. <laughs> this is pretty much all I can handle right here. Yeah. Oh. She's not happy, that's for sure. Oh, oh boy. All right. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. Woo. Woo.
All right, buddy. Here we go. Whew. Oh, wow. She's a monster. Whew. All right, so here she is in her clean enclosure. The glass is crystal clear. Can't even tell there's glass there. It is really awesome. She's got some really clean bedding. Bedding looks really good. Nice and clean. She is super bright. She's a white albino. So there's actually a lavender albino and purple albino, different morphs of reticulated pythons. And she is the white albino. She is a handful. Wow. All right, so there you have it. If you get a big snake, that is what you are up against. Let me tell you, when that snake was small and growing, it seemed like week after week, month after month, every time you pick up that snake, it changes, it gains some more weight, and it gets to the point where you're pretty much where I'm at right now, and that snake is definitely too big for me to handle by myself. I felt like I could barely pick it up and I really didn't have good control of it. So next time you see me handling that snake, I will definitely have a second person. That's probably one of the advantages of ball pythons. Let me tell you, ball pythons never really get to the point where you are like struggling to, to handle the snake because that snake is so big. Retics are a completely different ball game. So thanks for coming along. Thanks for watching me wrestle that crazy snake and I will see you next time.